why do I want to become an author or a reader or a writer? I am obsessed with reading since I was a child. The thing is, my elder sister was always into books. She was always buying books, I remember. She is three years older than me, and I think I got that passion from her. I always remember the way she used to, to have such a passion for reading and analyzing, and she was studying literature, which I also chose to do perhaps out of being influenced by her. And I that uh, passion was so contagious. I remember she was highlighting important parts in the books and writing notes and like always buying books, more and more books at bookstores. And most of the time when we would go out, we would always uh, she would always find a way to buy a book or more than one and um, books have been such a major part of my life I have been reading a lot all kinds of books and I enjoy reading so much that sometimes I would rather read a book than talk to a person and I always carry a book with me wherever I am going so that if I get bored I can read. I find that really fascinating. Some people say that reading is boring but reading is just like watching a movie except that it's even more exciting than watching a movie why because you get to create the movie uh, on your own you use your imagination and you you imagine the characters the movement the sounds and the smell and whatever is happening that's extremely challenging to your brain and your imagination and um just by reading, you're traveling, you're learning so many things and you can change your life. You don't have to read only books. You can read online articles. You can read newspapers. You can. Uh, there are so many options to gain information, knowledge and, and insight, enlightenment. So I have been really, um, the universe has been probably trying to tell me since a couple of uh, months now. It's not just a question of time, but more of a question of experience and circumstances. Sometimes circumstance, circumstances in life force you to, to wake up and to realize your true identity and you, you start to know who you want to be, who you were born to be. And what is the thing that you are so passionate about that you constantly keep thinking about it? Have you ever been so... Uh, really excited and passionate about something that you find yourself literally obsessed by it every single second the moment you wake up the moment you go to sleep sometimes you can't even sleep because you keep thinking how you can make your dream come true and I enjoy writing essays whenever I was a student I used to make quite good essays and my teachers or lecturer, lecturers would be rather impressed and they would um, they would admire my work I'm not saying that to boost my to boost but just uh, probably out of frustration and regret because had I known I would have pursued that field uh, and done my my education to specialize in the fields of of English etc but I didn't do that. I don't know why I didn't do that. But it's not too late. And I take it as a journey of learning. And now I'm building momentum. I Now I know that I am willing to undertake a new journey. And once I have undertaken this journey, I will not give up. So I have already signed up for a degree, a free or degree distance learning in English. And this just feels so exciting to me. It feels like the right thing to do. It feels like me. And my biggest dream is to become a, a professor in English, a specialist in the English language. But not just. I can see myself innovating, growing and learning and um, making as an inspirational videos, writing a book. That's one of my biggest dreams to publish, to write a book. I have decided that if I want to do that, I have to start the work right now and I have to make a sacrifice. I have to stop sleeping too much, eating too much and just relentlessly working on it and focusing. So, of course, it's not hard, it's not easy to uh, cope with the obligations that you have. If you are working, you have to also give your energy and time to that. But uh, just because it is difficult doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. And now every single day I try to make the most of my time and I try to at least um, 
make a step towards achieving that uh, dream of mine and i am not overconfident but i tell myself that even if you fail you should not give up and failure is just a, ti- uh, a sign of an opportunity for you to grow and to be humble and to learn so the the fear the real fear is not trying and not working hard to achieve your dreams and your goals so i am making a conscious effort now to read the maximum of books that i can to listen to the maximum of uh, motivational uh, speeches that i can to try to absorb knowledge and skills and ask for help from people that i feel i should ask for and also to be constantly working on myself to not be lazy not pro- procrastinate and believe that you know if you keep uh, working hard you will eventually um get something out of it so thanks a lot for listening to this little speech and that was important for me to share